Hi, this is Jim Welsh from Macrotides.com. Thanks for tuning in. With the U.S. yield curve now fully inverted, with 10-year Treasury yields below the 90-day T-bill rate, many investors are anticipating that the Fed will move soon to lower interest rates. The Federal Fund's futures market, for instance, has a rate cut priced in at more than 50% likelihood in July, and amazingly, more than 30% likelihood that the Fed will move in at their June meeting, which is two weeks from today, on June 19th. Part of the reason is the recent weakness in the stock market has led investors to believe that the Fed will act preemptively. But let's take a look at why the Fed hit the pause button back in December, and that might help us get a better idea of how the Fed will proceed in the next month or two. As you might recall, in 2018, one of the primary goals of the Fed was to lift the federal funds rate up to a neutral level where it wouldn't be either accommodative or restrictive. And after the rate increase in December, Fed funds was at 240, which is very close to the 25 to 2.9% target estimated for the neutral rate. Also, monetary policy acts with a lag. So effect, the Fed is always driving a car looking through the rearview mirror And after seven rate increases, a total of 175 basis points, the Fed decided that it was time to sit back and take a look and see just how much of an impact those prior rate increases were going to have on 2019 growth. The Fed also knew that fiscal policy would be less stimulative in 2019 than in 2018, which is why they lowered their GDP forecast from 3% to 2.3%. Also, there was a lot of uncertainty regarding the trade talks and Brexit, and the Fed thought, okay, it's time to wait to see how those things uh, develop. And finally, the decline in the stock market, widening spreads between corporate and treasury bonds, financial conditions had tightened fairly significantly, which also implied that the economic growth would slow from that event as well. So there were a lot of reasons, of and beyond the stock market going down, for the Federal Reserve to choose to pause at its December meeting. So I am not one who believes that they did a flip-flop. I think they followed their course. What are the odds that the Fed will cut uh, the federal funds rate at the June meeting? I think basically they're near zero. I don't think the Fed wants to be preemptive, and therefore they won't move. As uh, Chairman of the Fed uh, Powell noted in a June 5th speech, the U.S. economy continues to hum along at a 2% rate. Unemployment rate is down to about a 50-year low. Wage growth is 10-year high. So overall, the U.S. economy at, at the present time is doing okay. What are the odds that the Fed will tip its hand at the June meeting, either in the FOMC statement uh, or in Powell's press conference. I think Powell will repeat pretty much what he said on June 5th. That is, the Fed is watching developments closely and will react if necessary. If the trade talks don't resume after the June 28th uh, G20 meeting, will the Fed automatically lower rates in July? No, I think the Fed is going to need to see economic data indicate that the U.S. economy is slowing more rapidly than they had uh, expected. Um, And given, you know, job gains and uh, employment growth that we've seen so far this year and wage growth, uh, the service sector uh, ISM number came out today. It was really pretty healthy. I don't think the odds are that the economy will slow enough by the July meeting for the Fed to respond. Of course, if the China and U.S. agree to start talks again, the Fed isn't going to obviously act. And I think this is one of the factors why the Fed wants to wait to see how this does uh, evolve. However, should President Trump decide sometime in the third quarter to levy tariffs um, on the $300 billion of imports uh, that aren't currently subject to tariffs? Yes, I think that would prompt the Federal Reserve to very likely cut rates. Whether that was at the July meeting or the following uh, meeting in September, I think that could be the trigger. So I think the Fed, like the rest of us, are waiting to see how the trade game works out and they will respond accordingly. May good things happen for you today.